In this video, you'll learn how to add auto login capabilities to Login Screenlet. To do this, you need to store the user credentials using Login Screenlet's credential store attribute. To demonstrate, I'll start with an app that contains Login Screenlet and an activity with some private content. Here's how it looks in an emulator. To add auto login to this app, I'll first create a new activity. There's nothing special about this activity. It's just a blank activity and is created with Android Studio's default values. In the activities on create method, initialize LifeRay screen's context and try to load the saved credentials. Note that initializing LifeRay screen's context isn't necessary if you're doing so elsewhere in your app or in other screenlets. Then add an if statement that checks for a session. If one exists, redirect to the private content. If it fails, show the login activity. Next, open the manifest file and set this new activity to be the first activity in the app. Now test the app in an emulator. The private content is shown if the login succeeds. If you close the app and open it again, the login form is still shown. This is because you have to tell Login Screenlet to store the credentials. To do so, add the credential store attribute, indicating the storage mode. In this case, I'm using shared preferences. After relaunching the app, test it again by logging in, closing the app, and starting it again. Auto login is now working. 